popping on, True Team. Hey, man, I came to talk to y'all today about, you know, the school shooting I seen with, uh, you know, the 21-year-old kid. Like, like not 21, but, like, it was 20 it was 20 kids, man, in Texas, man. And you realize, like, all these murders, like, even with the New York Buffalo shit, like, you realize all these murders be committed by white people? Like, I don't know if y'all noticed that shit, but I noticed that shit. Like, I realize all these murders that we be having be committed by white people, bro. And, they, and the first thing they say is these motherfuckers got mental issues, bro. Let me tell y'all something right now. That shit hurt to see all them kids die the way they die, man. Like, motherfuckers don't get this conversation of what I'm saying to y'all. Pay attention, because I'm about to really dive deep into some shit so y'all can really understand. Bro, if you can reload a gun and trigger that motherfucker, even a, even a New York Buffalo white dude, he went in there and said, he went in there and said to himself that, oh, oh, you white, get the fuck out of here. He told one of the dudes, you white, get up out of here and shot everybody in there, bro. Just like them kids, bro. It hurts to see that all them kids didn't make it back home to their parents, bro. School ain't a safe place no more either, my nigga. It's not a safe place no more for a man to walk in there and just shoot all them kids, bro, and not letting them know, for them knowing that they can't even go back home to their motherfucking parents, bro. That shit's sickening, man. That is fucking sick, bro. You see all these massive shootings that's going on around here, and it's always got something to do with a white person. But see, the, see the logic of this shit. This is what the media wants you to think. Oh, these niggas got mental problems. But if it was us, they would have threw us right in fucking jail with everybody else. But they say he got mental problems. No motherfucker. If you know how to reload a gun, cock that bitch back, and put bullets in it, and do all that extra shit, reload and put another clip in that motherfucker, you just as guilty as the next motherfucker, bro. And you and, and it's funny because you targeted all kids. That man went in there and killed all kids, bro. What possessed you to do some shit like that, bro? You feel me, man? Now these kids ain't making it back to their home, or, uh, making it back to their family. And I just seen another. Somebody said another kid was missing, like she got taken or some shit like that. Her family looking for her. They don't know if she died or she got taken, bro. Like, they don't know. But this fucking world is getting crazier and crazier by the day. And all I'm saying is, man, for everybody to guard their motherfucking children, bro, because it's time for us to be protecting our children and protecting their mind and protecting, what the, protecting them from this outside world. Because when they get into this world, this world is going to fuck them up way more than their parents do. See... I was just having a conversation with my brother JB, and he was telling me, like, man, you know, a lot of people start believing they suffer. They it start from their parents first, like how Kanye West said that his mother said he could do anything he put his mind to. It start from there. You know, a lot of men, don't, a lot of women, and a lot of men don't have that type of support from their parents to where they parents say they can do anything they want and they believe they suffer from then and they make it happen. It start there first. Like that's my thing, man. It's fucked up to see like. The many kids that's younger age dying like that, bro. Their life is fucking precious, bro. Like, that shit really hurts, bro. It hurts like a motherfucker to see all them kids die like that, bro. It really does, bro. 13 kids, bro. And they said it was 21 kids, bro. And, it, and it's fucking crazy. And then they said it's another girl who missing. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I... I at this point, bro, we need, at this point, as a family, like, as people, we need to help each other out a little bit more. This just goes to show that, show y'all that life is not promised. For them kids losing their life like that, I want everybody to sit down and take a prayer and just hug, hold, hug your kid, hug whoever you is, your sister, whoever, bro, younger sister, whatever, man, because it seems to me nowadays school is not fucking safe, man. It's not how it used to be back in the day. They walking just like churches. Church is not even safe no more. They was they was doing this shit because they, they walk in the church and kill everybody in the church. This shit is premeditated murders. The government know what he doing, man. He know what the fuck he got going on, bro. It's like everybody who dies is our race, our race. But the rest of these motherfuckers be having mental problems. Y'all never noticed that. Y'all never noticed this shit, bro? Our people is disappearing more than anything in this motherfucking world. It's not that many blacks and African Americans. It's not that many black African Americans in this world, man. Black men included. We die, we die quick than a motherfucker. It ain't that many of us, man. It's really not. And it's fucked up to say. Like, bro, these kids are, they lost their life at a young age, bro. He murdered them with, I think it was an automatic. He killed everybody in that motherfucker. Teachers got hit, everybody, bro. That shit is that shit is sickening, man. It make you wonder, like, you need to live your life a little bit more because you you start to understand that life is not really promised, bro. You start to really pay attention to like, bro. When J Rock was talking, you start to really pay attention to like, God damn, like, bro. That what is the world coming to, man? And, and that's the fucked up part about it. You know, you know when you see a lot of things on social media, you wish that you had the power to stop it. 
I know a lot of y'all probably feel like that, bro, especially with these 13, these 21 year old kids, 21, not 21 year old, but like these 20 year, like these 20 kids who just passed. Like, I know y'all feel like, man, I wish I could have stopped that situation. I feel like that, bro, because they, they, babies dying. Like, think about it, man. Women having kids on a regular day basis and a hundred percent rate of women who dying in the bed from had given birth, they're dying and the baby dying, bro. Just imagine, just imagine for you, to, a, a woman to give out her kid, to receive her kid, bro. And, and I mean, let go of her kid, bro. And, and to give it to the world and just let them learn from experience and shit like that happens, bro. Like motherfuckers as, in our ages, bro, we was able to enjoy life. Shit like this was happening, but it wasn't happening often, bro. Like it's crazy, bro. As time went on and the new millennium came on, time got worse, bro. Like a lot of shit just got worse. That's why I tell motherfuckers, bro, it's a lot of bad shit out here, but life is precious too, man. And as you got your kid, whoever got your kid, hug him, hug that woman. I mean, hug that boy, hug that girl, man, and just protect her because and protect him because man at this time bro that shit with them kids bro i just want everybody to give a prayer bro because if that was some shit that i if if, if, if i could grant one wish that would be one of my wishes bro that that shit like that right there would stop bro like i don't i don't appreciate like how that shit happened like that shit was sickening bro them kids didn't do nothing to nobody they just was innocent they they was the innocent ones they was the innocent kids the kids always be innocent bro at a younger age they're innocent they're different. They're, they they don't know nothing about life. They just learning as they grow. They, they See, you know what a lot of parents say? Their kids be the happiest part of them. It do because, like, you may you may not be smiling right now, but when you see your son or your daughter, you get to smiling. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that, though, bro. And I started to understand that, like, bro, a lot of kids be a lot of people happy place. Not because they want to be in a relationship or not because of that. Because it, it reminds you of you when you were younger. And it show you a different perspective on life. Like, be happy. See, this kid happy for something that he he don't even know or she happy for something that they don't even know what they're happy about. But you know for a fact that you seeing a smile on their face every day is making your day. But just today, man, I want y'all to all take a prayer of what the fuck happened and just, man, try to, try to reach out to the families. Let's try to do something for the family in the world, bro. Let's try to see who, if y'all can give me their names, numbers, bro, anything, I would be glad to be able to text them and have a conversation with them because if, if that's possible, bro, I think that's what we need to do. All of us, everybody around the world in Texas or period, bro, come together, bro, around the world for this Texas matter, bro, and really get to all these families and just talk to them, bro, because it's like it's like a lot of people is going through pain right now, losing their son, their daughter, their they twins, whatever, whoever died, bro, who knows, bro? Like, it don't matter, bro. It's just no kids died, and that's the fucked up part about this situation. But I just want to let y'all know, man, I love y'all, man, and I just, that shit's spooky, you feel me? Because it, it just remind me of my little sister, my little sister Poo Poo or somebody. Like, it just remind me, it just remind me of shit like that. that and that's the fucked up part about some shit like that. But... Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.true. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.